The newly renovated Yorktown Library continues to have a local history collection. Um, a lot of people were concerned before the renovation. We had moved the local history collection to the tab library. That was simply so citizens could continue to have access to it. For me, it was important with the newly renovated Yorktown Library being really close to the battlefields. This was the natural fit for local history. In the old building, the local history collection was housed in what I consider a closet. It was the local history room because back in the 80s, that's what all libraries had. Many of our citizens did not realize we had a local history collection because it was out of sight, out of mind. So I wanted to highlight and let people know that we have this wonderful resource and it's all about access. We want people to use this material. We're keeping it forever but we want it to be available and to be used. Now, I think maybe that it's more accessible, more people come into the library and see it. It's actually getting used more. Um, people are browsing through the shelves and then they notice the local history section. They think, oh, maybe I should look and see what they have in the local history. Um, we have all sorts of things about mainly Virginia history and Yorktown history. Let's take a look at some of the stuff that we have. Right here we have some information about how Yorktown Day has been celebrated, the 350th anniversary of York County, actually. There's parade pictures, like a poem about the Victory Monument. You can really see all the different celebrations throughout that year. This is our Civil War area. All of these books are about um, battles, um, largely in Virginia, but also all kinds of other places. These books here are different regiments, the Virginia Cavalry and things like that, infantry. So if you're into Civil War history, this is a really good place to look. And my favorite book over here is this one. This book has diary entries and letters written from soldiers who were in this area during the Civil War. And so you can read their experiences and what it was really like to serve here. So we have all kinds of resources about the American Revolution. Um, they're sort of scattered throughout the section, so I'll show you a few highlights here. Over in this area, we have a list of Virginia soldiers from 1776, and it's really handy if you're looking for things about a relative. Um, you can find out a lot about their service history here. And going back a little bit further, um, this area has all sorts of things. We have a book about the history of Virginia's Navy in the Revolution. We have another book that's first-person accounts of the Battle of Yorktown. So even if you're not looking at genealogy here, we have a lot of good historical facts. Much of this area has to do with genealogy. We have Virginia taxpayers lists. We have some transcribed census records. We have a lot of transcribed York County records as well. We have marriage records, we have death records, we have tax lists and inventories from when people died. Um, so this is great because you don't have to read all the old handwriting. <laughs> Over in this area, we have yearbooks. People use our yearbooks more than I thought they would, and you see people bringing their kids in, show them what they looked like in eighth grade, which is pretty funny. I want people to know that this is a resource that they can use, even if they're not genealogists or historians. I'm here a couple times a week, and I see people in the, the new local history area at the, the tables using the conference room that's available. They say, I've used Ancestry.com and realized my family originated in Yorktown, Virginia, and I've come here on vacation to do some research and to, to get a little bit more in-depth. A great way to get more involved is to come to our genealogy meetup, which happens the first Monday of every month at 6.30 here at the Yorktown Library. So we go over different topics every month, so sometimes we'll talk about different websites that you can use for genealogical purposes or different types of records that you might have to look through and kind of how to read them, how to interpret them. So this is our local history section. Um, we encourage you to come in and take a look at what we have. We have all sorts of things to browse through, whether you're interested in genealogy or history or just maybe want to know a little bit more about our area. Um, there's all kinds of things to learn and discover. For more information about the local history resources at Yorktown Library, you can call the reference desk at 757-890-5207, or you can go to our website, yorkcounty.gov library.